Hello, in this week's video we're looking at Microsoft Word and specifically the new feature that is the dictate function. So you can see it's up here. If you select the home menu and then up on the top right corner, you've got the dictate function. So those of you familiar with Google Apps will be aware that the dictate function, the talk to type function has been available in Google Apps for a while and Microsoft have now updated their own, introduced their own version. Uh, it's only available if you are a subscriber to 365. So if you go for a free account, you won't find it available. So here on my work account, I can see it there. And you click on dictate, and it's the first time that you're clicking on it, it will ask permission in the browser for the microphone to be accessed. You can see it's reasonably accurate as it's capturing what I'm saying. And then when you finish, just click on it again. And it, you can stop it typing. So you can see reasonably accurate on what I've said. And that along with the immersive read, it really does provide Word with a really good accessibility features. So there you are. If um, you've been put off using 365 because it didn't have a talk to type function, it now does. So there you are. A quick look at the dictate function. I think it's going to be really useful. Um, lots of students now, because of smartphones, aren't used to typing. A lot of teachers aren't used to typing. Typing skill doesn't seem to be something that's high up on people's lists. So the ability to, to talk and it to type for you is something that's going to be really useful. I certainly find that when it comes to writing documents, I'm more likely to speak and let the computer type it than I am to use a keyboard. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe, and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.